Under all the screaming in this scene from The Big Lebowski, you can hear a crunch. That's meant to be Lebowski's back cracking, but the noise you hear isn't a bunch of bones cracking against each other. It's actually this. Many sounds you hear in movies are created in a studio like this one, using a variety of props. And among the most unusual of these props is food. I'm Marco Costanzo. I, I'm a Foley artist. I, I work in film. I make sound effects. Foods bring organic sounds that, that you can control. When it comes to lettuce, you get a little bit of this crunchy sound, and that sort of gives it the like it's, it's splitting the head open a little bit. That's how he achieved the sound in the film Dead Man. And for the sound of ashes fluttering in Shutter Island, he used coconut flakes. When we worked on uh, Julie and Julia, the lobster scene where she's real hesitant about cooking lobster, it's live. And so we actually went out and got a lobster for that and tried to bang it around. It was good for the grabs of the lobster and the drop in the pot, but not for the lobster trying to get out. So I have a pair of gloves that I put some duck feet on, which are very hard, so I could control the bang and the ring on the side of the uh, pot. These subtle accents, the snaps, the crunches, the gurgles, they draw you in. The sounds in the background aren't heard. But what we do is we replace all those sounds with whatever emotions are, are, are present. Bad Foley doesn't sound like it's right for that moment. Listen to this clip from X-Men Origins. It's supposed to be a dramatic moment, but it's spoiled by the cartoonish sounds made by Wolverine's claws. Good Foley, on the other hand. If you were to hear it, you would think it's production. It wasn't re-recorded first. Foley artists aren't so much trying to capture reality as they're trying to capture a sound that will contribute to the mood of the scene. I remember having some commercial people come in. We were doing a Pepsi commercial, and they, they we were putting a glass down on the table. We did it, and there were three or four people, and they well, eh, eh, try it again, and we tried it again. Eh, eh, you know what, can you get it a little um, bluer? So we're, it's like, well, this is now this is the direction we're getting, and how do you get make something bluer? So now you got to get into their heads, and it's like, what do they mean by what? Uh, so I'm thinking, what do they want? It's sultry, sexy? Are they disappointed? <laughs> so now you're verbalizing it. You're into the emotion of it. And then as you put it down, you're putting it down a little differently than earlier. You know, it has a little bit more finesse to it. And that actually took probably 15, 20 minutes to do a glass down, which would probably take about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Everything is so far-fetched, and, and could this really happen in, in real life? Well, the bottom line is, it is real life at this moment, and we want to make it sound as real as possible. To find out how your disgust mechanism can be used against you, click here. Disgust is a basic emotion, an innate reaction to things like rotting food, infectious diseases, and parasites. But it's also way more than that. 